Hello party people. Big change is happening around my house today. <laughs> Not really. Huge exciting news. I am decorating for spring today. I thought you would want to see all of the stuff that I recently bought out and displayed and in good use. Finally time to take down my Valentine's Day decor. We're like halfway through March at this point. I'm also going to make with you a brownie recipe. Some people have been telling me about Ina Gardens brownies, which I guess are the best. I don't know, we're gonna find out. I've eaten a lot of brownies in my day. I'll give you my honest opinion. And there's something else I need to do. I wrote it down, I just read my list. I thought, well, I'll be able to remember it. No, I won't. Oh, workout. I do wanna do my 10 minute workout session. It hasn't really been working out for me, but it, better than nothing is what I keep telling myself. 10 minutes is better than nothing. So I figured I would share that with you and maybe motivate you to do something. Oh yeah, and I'm waiting on my Thrive Market order. My box should be coming in any minute now. Any minute. So we'll be waiting for that. But great news, this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Huge thanks to Thrive Market for continuing to support me and my channel. And as always, massive thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. So Thrive Market is an online based market that is on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable. I've been shopping at Thrive Market for quite a while now and I love that I can scroll through their website or their app and just add things to my cart as I think about them. You guys know I lose lists all the time. So it's great to just have like a running cart that's already saved on my phone. They sell everything from organic and essential groceries, clean beauty, safe supplements, non-toxic home products, plus ethical meat, sustainable seafood, snacks, pantry staples, and more. I like going through all the kids' snacks uh, and finding new snacks for the kids to take like in their lunches or just to munch on while they're at home. And oftentimes I munch on a lot of them. <laughs> I'll buy like double and one will be for them and one will be for me. It's no big deal. I should also mention that you can easily shop Thrive Market's website or app if you have certain dietary preferences like keto, paleo, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, fair trade certified. They have BPA free stuff. All the good things are on their website. A couple more great things to share about Thrive market is that they have carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse it always amazes me and they give back every paid membership sponsors a free one for a low-income family and they have two different membership options they have a one-month membership for $9.95 a month and they have a 12-month membership for five dollars a month and you get billed at $59.95 for the year and that's the one that I chose to go with because it's more economical and I'm going to be using their services for quite some time uh, but I'm excited to share with you Thrive Market's special deal they always have one for you if you join today you can get 25% off your first order and a free gift it's a two for 25% off and a free gift. Make sure you check out my link in the description box below. It is thrivemarket.com slash the wads. And you can check out all the cool stuff that Thrive Market has to offer. I'll be sharing that haul with you later in the day. All I can remember that I ordered is like a bunch of hot sauce and a lot of straw cleaners. Very important, I've been waiting on those. But while we wait, I guess we'll go ahead and decorate for spring, which means I need to head to my shed because that's where my spring stuff is, but also I can't even walk in my shed because it's like packed with Christmas stuff. I guess it's time to declutter my shed. Another day, I can't handle it right now. All right, BRB. I should crack a couple windows open it is so nice outside uh, maybe we'll go to the park with the kids later today oh my gosh I'm out of breath that was an adventure so there it is my Easter decor but wait there's more I just shared all of this stuff with you in a recent haul so I think my house is gonna be good to go I'm gonna take everything out and we'll see what we have oh yes okay so this is the most like Easter stuff I think I've ever had to decorate. Obviously it's almost twice as much as I had last year. Well, not quite. I don't, there's not that much stuff. I mean, what, it's subjective, okay? Leave me alone. What was I gonna say? I don't know, I'm hungry. What was I gonna say? Oh, that Easter basket. Have you guys shopped around for Easter basket fillers yet? Or egg fillers or whatever? Oh, that one fell apart. Oh, all the flowers are falling off. What a piece of crap. This is looking a little dinge. Cute. Ah, oh, cute. Cute. 
This is everything that I have to decorate with. It looks so nice and springy all sitting on my couch. So colorful. Love the bright colors. Uh, so this should be fairly simple. I say that, but I will likely eat my words. Let me show you why. So you'd think, oh yeah, it's just easy. Take the Valentine's Day crap down. But then also I have to clean and tidy. Why is half of that stuff up there? I'll never know. You know what? These are brand new shoes. Wentworth tore the tag. Oh good, the tag's in there. I need to return them. They're a size too big. 12s are like so tight on him, but 13s, Lord, they're huge. So maybe we'll run to Target today. I'll put them in my purse. Do you see what's up here? Do you see this? <laughs> Cheese and crackers. So fancy. I must have been trying to feed Meredith or something and then just like laid it there. Gross. Well, a little oversight here. I guess I should have brought in my... He hasn't even opened his ear pods yet. Air pods? Whatever they're called. What a gift. But a Valentine's Day bin. I should have brought the bin in to put all the Valentine's Day stuff in it. There's all this stuff up here. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Jeez, no one knows where the garbage can is these days. I guess I should get a rag and kind of clean up here because it's dirty. But I'd rather just stand here and smell this candle. Man, this candle smells so good. It kind of smells like Fruit Loops, cinnamon, apple, and oats. <sighs> this is not the candle we're gonna burn. We're gonna burn a springtime candle like a true YouTuber. Mm. This is the best candle I've ever smelled. Raw honey and neroli. Some of you have told me that you've smelled this in the store and you absolutely hated it. What? You're crazy. This is the best thing I've ever smelled. Look, I even got a yellow cloth because I'm that festive. I'm at that level of festive. All right, let's take all this crap down. Easy enough. We'll put this stuff up. I think this is exactly how I had it last year. Get out of here. Oh, my walls are even dusty. You know, I feel like I clean my walls quite often, but also not often enough. This one is filthy. I need to grow a foot or two. Okay, easy peasy. Let's pop this up. This thing is shedding flowers like crazy. So sad. That just makes me happy. That yellow color? Yes, please. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze all that dust. I don't wanna. <coughs> Make it stop. Maybe I can counteract the sneezing by smelling something I like. What, other YouTubers' candles don't look that messed up? <laughs> Whatever. Mmm, still smells good. Cause you light up my life. That's the truth. All right, let's hide this, it's ugly. And it looks done. Maybe I should clean the mirror. Oh no, it's clean. Look at that. Oh yes, just a couple touches. And it is spring in here. The two little lovebirds. Speaking of love, we're over it. Out with the love, in with the welcome eggs. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Perfect. This one's gonna be real easy. <laughs> Half the time, uh, it was crooked, just like that. Who cares? Anyway, just like garbage bags, I layered up the wreaths. So there's my spring wreath. Perfect. All right, this is from the Playroom Declutter that I did. And I just don't know what all these remotes go to. So I'm gonna have to ask Alex. But more importantly, you know what? I need a gnome with like some dangly legs to sit up here, you know? Oh, let's switch them out and hello to this sweet lady. All right, we're gonna get rid of all of this Valentine's Day crap that Meredith drew all over. Great. You guys know I struggle with this area the most. Ooh, that's, there you go. Like what did I have here last year? Maybe a box of tissues or something? I have no idea. I remember the first time I decorated for spring, it was, I don't know, four years ago. I had him in my kitchen and I thought, oh, look at me now. Oh, how about this guy? Is that too much? Look at her with her flowers though. She's so sweet. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, ah. All right, if I can decorate without breaking something this time, that would be great. Oh my god, what is this, super glued? I do feel like he could work for springtime too. What is this? Grumpy old men. <laughs> Why is this up here? Speaking of a grumpy old man. <laughs> oh, I do like that heart. All right, time to get springified. Well, it turns out that I only clean up here once a season. <laughs> Better than once a year. It's not that bad. Want to see all of our uh, dead skin? No? Okay. What are we going to put here? Your guess is as good as mine. 
Well, I'm thinking this stuff because it's all we have left here. Cute little bunnies, cute little spring sign, and another cute little, oh, he doesn't fit. Make it fit. There he goes. Cute, cute, cute. You guys ever try to like break the zip tie with your fingers? Oh, it hurts. Is that even? Is that even? Good enough. There we go. Just like that. It's springtime. I love just a couple little touches. Cute, cute, cute. Love it so much. It changes things up. Looks cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Last bit of Valentine's Day decor I have left in my house is this little heart. Peace out to that. But now I have a dilemma. Which one do I hang? I love the beads. I love the eggs in the grass. What if I hang both? Do we like that? Well, really it should go here. I need some thumbtacks. Do we like it? I don't care. It's staying. I like that. Looks good. Let's move on. I need to look up the brownie recipe because, well, I don't know it. <laughs> I actually don't even know what specific brownies to look for. I just know Ina Garden. I'm pretty sure that's what people are telling me. By the way, hydrate, purifies the soul. So good. This morning, I was tired. I'm tired every day. I definitely don't get enough sleep. Life with four kids. But I read a really long time ago that water, ooh, I gotta sneeze again. False alarm. I read that drinking water in the morning is just as effective or more effective or more beneficial than drinking coffee. I don't know. I read it a really long time ago. Not that I don't drink coffee, but some days I think, oh my gosh, I understand why some people drink coffee. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just trying to load up on my water and get my body hydrated and energized. I'm one of those people who does not like taking naps. I don't really like sleeping, which is probably why I don't really do it often, other than every night. Oh my gosh, but can I tell you something? And maybe you're like this too. The other night I went to bed early. I didn't expect to go to bed, well, early, 10.30. I still had a few things to do. And so I went to bed. I wasn't expecting to, I kind of just passed out. And then in the morning I was frazzled because I still had to do those things before the day progressed. So I was just like, this is why I don't like sleeping. It is kind of weird to think that sleep is the one way to like rejuvenate our bodies and stuff. Okay, I should probably look up this brownie recipe. To think that the one way to energize our bodies is just to lay there and do nothing. <laughs> Found the brownie recipe, I think. It's called Outrageous Brownies, is this correct? One pound of butter. Are you zoomed in? This is so close, there. One pound. Good gravy. Okay, all kinds of different chocolate going on. Semi-sweet, bitter chocolate. Six eggs? Six eggs. Oh my God. Sounds delicious. 12 by 18 baking sheet? I'm gonna need some pictures. What? Take a peek on that brownie though. I'm not sure if my kids are at this level to be able to appreciate a brownie this luxurious. Uh, also, there are no other pictures, just that recipe. So I guess I'm gonna write it down and then we'll head to the kitchen. Outrageous brownies. Ran out of space there. So I was gonna start whipping up the brownies, but then I actually read the recipe as I was writing it down. Turns out I don't have half of the stuff. In my garden, vanilla extract, I could live without. But instant coffee, I feel like that's pretty important. I only need three tablespoons of it though, so how important is it? I also don't have bitter chocolate or chocolate chips in general, which I feel like is an important component of brownies. I'm also unsure if I have enough butter, because goodness gracious, one whole pound, that's four sticks of butter. Is that right? Ina! So I'm gonna have to run to the store, but before I do that, I'm looking at my kitchen, it's a mess. So I'm thinking maybe I should like tidy up this a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this baby said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed with her done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him. Right now, he's fine, but Lucy on the line, let's get this started, where's the party tonight? I feel good, nothing weighs me down, I can't believe my love right now, red eyes while he's sad. D, 
BSW, not the candle shop. So I just realized the top half of me does not match the bottom half. <laughs> I feel like I did my hair, I've got a cute little top on. And then I've got bike shorts and sneakers. The new style. Look at this spot over here, look at that. Huge like poof, I didn't know they sold these anymore. Oh look, they're all over the place on the bottom here. Anyway, Levi Strauss and Co. Uh, they have a whole section here. Oh my gosh, look how luxurious that robe looks. Levi, $8, I'm impressed. So while I'm here, I have to pick up a few makeup items. I don't wear a lot of makeup, uh, but I'm out of mascara, but they don't sell it anymore. But I do see this new display. What is that? The mascara I love is CoverGirl Lash Blast. Actually, I have no idea what it's called. I'll throw it on the screen, I'm having a brain fart. But this is their new stuff and the little display boxes are so darling. Look at those blushes. Look at these lipsticks with stuff inside. Those look quality and that looks fun. Ooh, maybe I'll try this So Extra Maximum Impact Mascara. Uh, maybe I won't for $18. <laughs> Amaze balls. This looks promising, but I feel like all these pictures are lies. This looks new. I don't know about it. I feel like Jessica Braun talked about this and raved, so I might try this. Another lash blast. Mmm, smudge proof. I don't believe it. I love when Target puts coupons on their meat. Look, $5 off. So you get three and a half pounds of chicken for $5. Sometimes they have $3 off stickers too, of like uh, drumsticks and thighs and stuff. Made it to the coffee aisle. Not quite sure where to look. Instant coffee grounds. Instant coffee. Gosh, I don't want to buy that much. Don't they have like a box with three tablespoons? <laughs> Ay, is this instant coffee grounds? Oh boy. Is this what I'm looking for? Instant coffee crystals. Huh, maybe. Just my luck. I'm kind of wondering if I should start shopping for Easter basket fillers. I really don't want to, and I feel like I'll just eat the candy if it's in my house lying around, so I'm not going to. I'm home from Target and I hope I got everything that I needed, but I wanted to share this with you. So I grabbed some green grapes. The other day we were at the park and Avelina was talking to someone and we were eating grapes and the lady that Avelina was speaking with was asking if we had ever tried green grapes with lime juice, not lemon juice, lime juice. Apparently it tastes like a Sour Patch Kid, so I'm gonna grab a lime and test that theory out. Now she said, obviously it doesn't taste exactly like a Sour Patch Kid because, hi, there's no sugar other than the natural sugars, but if you're the type of person who craves that type of food, it would be a great alternative in a pinch, you know? My mouth is already drooling. I don't typically like Sour Patch Kids. Ugh, I feel like my kids are going to love this if it works. Oh, Pablo's theory is real. I'm literally just going to do two grapes and then a little bit of lime juice. That was a lot. Let me cut them up. I feel like when you make fruit salad, you always throw a little bit of acid in there, so I don't really have high hopes for this, but oh, I haven't eaten it yet, so it smells really good. Oh my God, Ugh. let's try another. Oh, why? Uh, maybe if you let them soak, but it's the initial pucker of the lime juice and then you taste the grape. I don't go to Sour Patch. Man, well, I eat it. You get a little more used to it every time. Ugh. <laughs> Kind of. Oh, it's good though. I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, on to the main attraction, these outrageous brownies and <gasps> BRB. I almost forgot about our spring cookware set. Oh man, I'm so excited about this bowl. Look how pretty it is. And we have some spring towels. Get the heck out of here. Finally, it feels like spring. Oh, also, I wanted to mention, this is the mascara I bought, so I'll let you know how, what I feel about it. All right, what are we doing over here? Oh my gosh, I forgot the butter. Mm. See, if I had my life together. Oh, what was that? <laughs> you guys. Oh, 
I've watched this clip so many times. The level of terror that I am experiencing is next level. <laughs> My husband scares me all the time. And this is me 20 times a day. <laughs> also, I can't help but think, like, what am I going to do if someone is actually intruding in my home? Like, my hand is shaking. Like, I'm, oh, my gosh, fight or flight. And I'm definitely uh, going to hide. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody call 911. I think I just had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, man. Something fell in the garage. I don't know what. I think it was my big Bertha bowl if I had to take a guess. If I had my life together, I would have left this butter out while I was at Target, but I don't have my life together. Uh, on a plate. Holy cow, you guys. Four sticks of butter. How can this not be delicious? Put four sticks of butter on literally anything and it's edible. Okay, four sticks. Oh, I guess the first thing we do is on the stove top. Okay. Dang it, I left the butter in way too long. I'm trying to set up my double boiler. Oh wait, not long enough. Go for another 30. What do we need? Oh my gosh. No, no, why? Why am I the way that I am? Ooh, wait a minute. Yes, thank you, Kim. So you need one pound plus 12 ounces of chocolate chips. So this is, one pound, eight ounces. So I would have been fine, I think, but I found these. I bought them from Publix on sale. I don't know why, but they're espresso morsels. Sounds good to me. We're gonna use these. One pound, six ounces. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, just come on. Come on over. I'm an idiot. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Here's what you do. This is a makeshift double boiler. You just grab a glass bowl and then you put some water in a pot. Don't let the water touch the bottom of the bowl. And then that slowly melts the chocolate without burning it. Sometimes in the microwave you can burn it. But what you're gonna do is melt all your butter. Now I have to wash this plate. <laughs> oh, Kim. And then you add your chocolate. Now I don't have a kitchen scale, but if this is one pound, eight ounces, I would say about there. One pound of chocolate, superb. Maybe a few too many for the chef. Oh my goodness. I've been eating Costco chocolate for far too long. Gosh, that's delicious, Nestle semi-sweet morsel. I'm drooling. And then you throw in some, what is this? Unsweetened chocolate, but they didn't have enough. You need a six ounces of bitter chocolate, but they only had, you know, whatever. So then I got some bittersweet chocolate. Work with what you have, whatever. Ooh, Ina, you're fancy. I need a knife. I can't break these in half. My fingers are weak. My fingers hurt. Ow, gosh, that hurt. It's not worth it. Just leave them double. Oh wait, we need more. And then I figure whatever I don't use, I could just eat, right? Ghirardelli, fancy. Oh my, look how, this, oh. Hold on. We need to get a nice shot of this to prove how fancy we are. Look at that Ghirardelli chocolate right on top. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Now this is a breakfast of champions. The steam from the boiling water is what melts the chocolate. You gotta get in on this action. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Now it's looking real gross. I know. Don't worry, hopefully it will look better in just a minute. In just a minute. Wow, this reminds me of like Christmas time. This is definitely not something I could do for Brownie Friday. My usual Brownie Friday consists of letting the kids mix, ugh, Ghirardelli brownie mix together. You know, that's nice and simple. Looks a little soupy, but I'm gonna trust the process here. Ugh, the steam is hot. Well, this took longer than I expected. A few of the bigger pieces were stubborn, but everything looks nice and melted. So I am going to take this off the steam and try not to spill it everywhere. Come on, Kim. Everybody's watching. Here we go. Perfect. Food Network, I am available. Oh my gosh. I, I don't have eggs. Please, Kim, come on, you're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. I have been brought back to life. See, this is what happens when I don't go to Costco every other week. My life is in shambles. 
I ended up buying this enormous thing of instant coffee. You, you know what? I hope I really enjoy these brownies so that I get to use up the rest of this instant coffee. <laughs> Although I'm sure Ina Garden has plenty of other recipes that uses this. I know chocolate cake, oh my, oh my gosh. Well, this is weird. How many tablespoons? Yeah, that's, this is, mm, what? Doesn't sm really smell like coffee. Huh, all right, three tablespoons, a one and a two and a three. I get heaping because more is more. How am I gonna use all of this? I almost bought the little pouches. It was like 99 cents for six pouches. Each pouch had 0 0.06 ounces. And I just, I didn't think it was going to be enough. Six eggs going in, two at a time, because we're in a rush. And she clearly states in the recipe, do not beat these, just mix them. Mix, and I should have just mixed the eggs without the coffee grounds, because now it's weird. The night Chicago died. Mama, what a night it really was. That egg yolk just did not want to break, right? Okay, what else do we add to this? That's looking weird. Holy cow! Two tablespoons of vanilla extract, you people. Two tablespoons? These are the most expensive brownies I've ever made. Hold on, I got a phone call. Ooh, a house, you guys! It's a little far from where we want. Ooh, it's top of our budget is that a joke it's at the top of our budget two i don't think my heart has it in it to add two tablespoons well here we go ina knows best okay that's what i wake up every morning saying Ina knows best i'm trying not to beat these eggs but it's like in my blood guess how much sugar two and a quarter cup. Lord. Two and a quarter cups of sugar and four sticks of butter? I'm gonna have brownies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, I'm gonna beat that together. Ooh, now that looks good. That is something I could drink. It's like a morning smoothie. <laughs> okay, what do we add here? Next is one cup of flour. You're supposed to do that this separately with the baking powder. How much baking powder? One tablespoon of baking powder. You're supposed to like, you know, be a professional and sift it and stuff, but like, have we met? Oh, a little bit of salt, hold up. A little bit of salt to enhance the flavor. Oh my goodness. Wait, am I supposed to do this? Yeah, what are we doing? Uh-oh, we're supposed to mix the butter in here. Okay, okay, hold on, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. My phone? Okay, before you add the flour, you're supposed to add this. So, yeah. I mean, that looks pretty good, right? Oh my. So, I don't know about you, but this is what my dreams are made out of. Oh wait, there's more. Okay, holy cow, there's more. I need another bowl. Quarter cup of flour and 12 ounces of chocolate. I'm gonna try one of these, see if they're good. Oh my gosh, creamy and dreamy. Mmm. wow, they taste like coffee. You just toss these together so they don't fall to the bottom of the brownie. All right, let's get our baking sheet. Oh, three cups of walnuts. I don't know if I have three cups. Here's what I have. Turns out I have a whole other bag. So that's about one cup, two cups, three cups, a little more, and some for the chef. Okay, now you dump the chocolate chips in this mixture and just fold them in. Man, Ina, so much chocolate. It's outrageous. This is insanity. Okay, 12 by 18 by one. This has gotta be it, right? I, I don't know, I, I don't know. This is my other one that I would use. 12 by 18, maybe. Let me go get a measuring tape. This is ridiculous. Ina Garden, nobody hire me to estimate. Okay, 21 inches, what are we looking for? Yeah, that's way too big. 15 by 21 or 13 by nine. I don't have what I need. 12 by 18. I know, garden. You need me to buy a whole new pan? If the brownies are good, I will. So what, so, what do we do? I would rather have a thicker brownie than a thinner brownie, you know? So I'm gonna go with this guy, plus, it's pretty. Oh wow, this is luxury, right here. Oh, it's not all mixed, I'm terrible. Now it is. 
I wonder if when she was curating this recipe, she was like, no, not enough chocolate. More. Wow. That's gonna take forever to cook. This is the true taste of a brownie. If the batter is good, that's a good batter, Ina. Well done. Okay, into the oven. I don't know how long. It says 35 minutes. I don't believe it because this is, it needs more than that. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna clean up. The kids are on their way home. I'm gonna feed them some grapes. And then I guess I'll make dinner with you. I don't know what's for dinner. I did see something at Target. Uh, you know how Target sometimes has those takeaway bags? Mine does anyway. And so mine had some mac and cheese with the chicken and broccoli. And I thought, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Except for some of my kids don't like mac and cheese. So I figured I'd make just pasta with pesto and then some broccoli and shredded chicken. And that's like a quick, easy weeknight meal. Perfect. Look what you made me do, Ina Garden. These brownies better be worth it. I almost forgot. I just got a text saying that my Thrive Market order has arrived. And there it is. Thrive Market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna toss my chicken in this burning oil. Just like that. And then I'm gonna season the other side. Wait. Let that cook, get a nice color on it. Okay, so the chicken is cooked. You could take shredded chicken, rotisserie chicken, whatever chicken you like, or just boil it and then shred it up in your KitchenAid. And then I threw some yeah. Yeah. pesto in here. This is what I use tonight, but sometimes, most, most of the time, I use a packet, and it's delicious, but this one's pretty good too. Some of my kids prefer uh, plain pasta or pasta with cheese, so I always leave some out for them uh, in the nice fancy bowl that I wash. And then we've got broccoli and cauliflower. Delicious. Uh, bon appetit. Dinner was great. <laughs> Not much else to say about it. Simple, easy, delicious, nutritious. You name it, you eat it. Which is way Good. Good? I mean, you can trust Meredith, right? She is my number one food critic in the house. Oh my word, this thing is outrageous. It's been cooking for, I wanna say an hour, maybe even longer. I stopped keeping track. I pulled it out before I started doing dishes and it was still goopy. Okay, that looks a lot better. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm just gonna let it sit. It is a little burnt on the edges. I covered it with foil about 20 or so minutes in because my oven is at 411 degrees. It's a story for another time. Okay, wowie powie, you guys. Uh, so no, we do not eat brownies, uh, you know, cut up. We just scoop them out <laughs> with our bare hands. <laughs> so the kids <laughs> did not enjoy this. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I guess because more for me, right? And basically, the, it's just me eating this. I made Brownie Friday uh, with like regular Ghirardelli uh, box mix, which is what my kids love, which is what I love. But the first bite out of this, Alex said, what happened? <laughs> what went wrong? I was like, wait, you don't like them? So I think because I used the espresso chocolate chips, they take they taste more like coffee than they normally would. But these are delicious. They're very rich. E even I can't eat the whole pan in one sitting. I mean, it's been a struggle to get this down. You know, I want to eat it all. But then I'm like, oh, all that butter, all the sugar. It tastes so good. I would definitely recommend making this if you have 30 minutes or so to spare and all the ingredients. I just definitely won't be a regular thing. It's special because, I don't know, it just took longer <laughs> to make than usual. But there's that. Wanted to give you a review. Delicious. But I just did all the dishes from dinner. I'll put those away. And I think we're gonna head to the park. Here is the hall. And it, you know what, I gotta be honest, that's a nice looking hall over here. I have noticed that I've been getting most of my cleaning products from Thrive Market as well, which has been really nice and I have enjoyed every single one. So I picked up some more. I was in need of some toilet bowl cleaner, so I got two of the Thrive Market brand and then I found this one, Ecover, I don't know. You know, all of it is like a more natural cleaning products, which I enjoy, so 
I think this one got me because of the scent, Pine Fresh. So believe it or not, I'm kind of excited to clean my toilet bowls. Usually I use the same toilet bowl cleaner uh, for years. So <laughs> it's nice to switch things up every once in a while. Look, it even says non-toxic, gotta love that. Plant-based, biodegradable formula, all good things, right? And then I found this, I was in need of some more all-purpose cleaner, so I picked this one up. This scent is Zesty Lemon. Ooh, my favorite. It's almost springtime. Really. It's it's almost summertime here in Florida because it's 90 degrees outside. Feeling good. I also grabbed some of this. I needed some bubble bath. Ooh, and I love this brand, Everyone Kids Soap. This is what I use for bubble bath. I could also bathe the kids. You could also use it as shampoo. It's a three in one. Don't you love how like kids and men's products are like, wash everything with this one product, but then female products are like, no. Use seven different products on your face. Ooh, I just smelled it. That smells nice. It's a coconut twist. So I sent lime in there as well. Maybe it's just my brain telling me it's lime because it's green, but I really enjoy that. And it takes us a while to go through it. So happy about that purchase. Also, it was cheaper on the Thrive Market website uh, than when I purchased it uh, before at just a typical store. I also grabbed this all-purpose cleaning brush. I have one, but I have to tell you, it's like a piece of crap. Ooh, this one is so nice. The bristles are nice and stiff. So, okay, so the one that I have is from the Dollar Tree. And I, <laughs> it takes me forever to scrub because the bristles just don't want to get into anything. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy, but I almost didn't buy it. But look how cute it is. I love the wooden handle. Oh, I guess the brand is Full Circle. That was nice. And I want to say it was on sale. Speaking of sale, you know what I got for free? Uh, so Thrive Market sends you emails and stuff if you opt into them, I think. I don't, but they're always like deals that you don't want to miss out on. So I saw this one and it was like, hey, click on this and then you'll get overnight oats. So I clicked on it and it added it to my cart for free. Five packs of apple and, co ooh, apple and coconut. Nice. I think they were different flavors, but <laughs> apparently that's what I picked. Overnight oats. So five packs packs of these. You know what? I don't know if I like overnight oats. We're going to find out uh, for free. I'm so excited. I love Thrive Market so much. It's for real. It's a for real love. I also grabbed this curry powder because I wanted to make a curry. Turns out I had some, but I love the curry so much. I shared it, the recipe in my previous like vlog, what, you know, around the house happenings and stuff like that. I don't know what we did. Oh, I think we cleaned the playroom. We decluttered the playroom. Anyway, I love it so much. Alex loved it so much, so I do plan on making it again. I love that they sell a bunch of spices on Thrive Market, so I can just stock up there because sometimes when I'm at the grocery store, I forget to pick up spices. I just, you know, zoom past the aisle because it's not something that you pick up regularly, you know? I also grabbed some beans. Avelina just loves eating beans straight out of the can, or in this case, a pouch, which I love. So it's nice to have these on hand. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got these. These were a good price. Uh, so I grabbed just one box of the dark chocolate uh, granola bars. I love this brand, Cascadian Farms. They are like a filling granola bar. It's not like the crappy, I don't even know what the other brand is called. But my kids can eat like 75 of the other ones and still want more. But they'll eat one of these in their lunch and they're good to go. It fills them up. They are more expensive, not from Thrive, but just in general compared to the... Um Oh, Quaker? Is that what it's called? Anyway, we I enjoy these, but I have to hide them on the top shelf so the kids don't eat them at their own free will. <laughs> oh my gosh, speaking of these. Okay, I've been waiting for this since last month, since I opened last month's Thrive Market order because... Was it last month? I don't know. I got this. This is straight up buffalo sauce. But you know how I use it? I put it on my salads. <laughs> and I sweat when I eat, but it's just so good not to, you know? So I initially thought I was ordering that, the buffalo vinaigrette. Uh, turns out I didn't. I do love this brand, Noble Made. It's like quality brand. The same can be said about this Whole30. It's like they don't add any garbage inside of it. You know what I mean? So you know you're eating something a bit healthier. But this is a buffalo vinaigrette made for salads. And so I cannot wait to eat this. Oh, I cannot wait. And then apparently I went buffalo crazy. Oh, I don't even like ranch. Maybe Alex will like this. Buffalo ranch. He dips everything in ranch, so he's probably going to enjoy that. I also grabbed four bags of the pasta. I find that also, same as the spices, in the pasta aisle I just walk through because I assume I'm always stocked up on it, but I'm not always stocked up, so I stocked up a bit and got the bow tie 
pasta, farfalle, a rose by any other name, bunny tail puffs, oh nice and cute, I got these, I don't know, I love the Annie's brand and as you can see I got a lot of Annie's brand stuff, I got some cheddar bunnies for the kids and myself, ooh some bunny grams, the chocolate bunnies, delicious, and Wentworth specifically asked for, uh, what are these called, crispy snack bars, they're like rice crispy what are they called? Rice Krispie snacks? With marshmallow, whatever they are. Ooh, gluten-free, nice. And then I got the Annie snack mix. I like this stuff. <laughs> I have to be careful because I'll eat the whole box and that's probably not good, but that's what I do. And oh my gosh, look! If you watched the recipe that I shared with you, the curry recipe in my last vlog, I needed yellow curry paste. Well, guess what? None of my grocery stores in my area carry yellow curry paste. They have red and they have green. But Thrive Market has yellow. I should have stocked up on this as well because that's what you need uh, for the curry recipe. Oh, so I'm so glad that they had it and I'm glad that I bought it. And then last thing, oh no, not last thing. I got keto chocolate brownie mix. Uh, you know, I just like <laughs> trying all kinds of new brownie mixes and if it can be a smidge bit healthier for me, uh, look, this one does not need four sticks of butter. Wow, imagine that. So <laughs> I'll be trying that soon. And then I picked up four of these straw cleaners and you might think four Kim what do you need four for well I don't know <laughs> they were like a dollar fifty a piece and Alex uses them I use them I figure if we use a couple and then they're in the dishwasher or in the sink whatever then we'll still have a couple plus I don't know if they're gonna get lost in here or whatever don't judge me okay I just picked four it seemed like a solid number <laughs> but I use these to clean out all the water bottle straws and stuff like that so that is my haul Another amazing haul from Thrive Market. <laughs> so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out, cooking with me, seeing my haul, all that good stuff. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market if you want to get 25% off your first order and a free gift. I'll throw the free gifts on the screen if I haven't done so already. But make sure to use my link. I will put it in the description box. It is thrivemarket.com slash the wads to do so. Oh yeah, and we decorated today. Thanks for decorating with me. My house looks great. Not really, it's already a mess. No big deal, at least it smells good. The honey and neroli is really making me happy. You know what else make me happy? These pockets. <laughs> pockets in my apron. Thank you guys again for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.